Hi everyone, it's Tom here from Tech Nexus, and thanks for joining me again on our ongoing series of our Plant 3D Tech Talks. So last week we went through and set up our title blocks and we had a look at starting a PNID. So over the last couple of days I've gone through and I've generated three PNIDs for this project. Uh, I've got one with a vertical vessel, two pumps on my first sheet. On sheet two I've got a tank with two pumps on it and on the third sheet I've got a reboiler uh, or heat exchanger and one pump. So just a couple of things that you can do with these is so with the uh, off page connectors you can click on one and then click at the very far right of it of the symbol and there's a little blue dot and it says that it's connected so we can say view connected which will take us to a dialog box which shows uh, the connection and we can disconnect it here if we uh, felt like it uh, and then the other one is that we can open the actual connected drawing now I've already got it open uh, and obviously it's going to flow through uh, to that uh, off-page connector now the out-of-the-box off-page connectors when you do double click on them they have some other properties that aren't inherited so again this will be something that you'll need to go through and sort out for your own um, pin ID so whether it inherits a drawing property data or process line data with the P and then we got comment connected number or origin or destination there as well so um, it's it's something that maybe we can go through in another video but again every project is different every client is different sometimes these OPCs have a lot of information sometimes they have very little and it might be just uh, the, the drawing number itself Another thing I wanted to look at today was the pin ID painter. So I can say paint everything by service, so color by service. Uh, and you can see because everything is marked as a P for the, the service, so everything is going to be uh, highlighted as yellow. So that's, that's really what um, the painter does. Or if I color by size, so then I can see here that uh, my green lines are 4 inch my yellow lines are 3 inch and my dark blue lines are 6 inch there and then I've also got some 8 inch lines that are highlighted in purple or magenta so again just something handy for you uh, to, to do with your pen IDs and then lastly I just wanted to touch base on this is the data manager so with the data manager if I scroll down to my primary line segments I can see I have all of my, my uh, line numbers marked there so 2, 7, 1, 000, 5, 6, 3, 4, and 1,001. Um, the size, the spec, where they're going to, where they're coming from, and any of the other variables in here as well. So what I want to do is I want to export these all out as Microsoft Excel files on my desktop. And the active node and all child, I don't want to do any other children. I am in the, in the child uh, view there and then I'm going to open up Microsoft Excel while that loads and what we're going to do is export the data so if I look on my desktop I can see I've got the Excel file there so I'll just open that and I can see I've got the information there so we have our line tags to from but design pressure temperature uh, all of that sort of information is all in there um, so we can put in put in the pressure a thousand temperature of a hundred operating 90 and operating of 900 these are just random numbers so I'm just going to control D so I'll just put in all of the same values just to make this quick and easy so I'm going to click on save and close and then I'm going to go back into my pen ID and I'm going to import that data so log file will be created sure look for my Excel file go OK and what that is going to do is populate those values on those lines and you can see on my pen ID those lines have been marked with a cloud so that cloud is only temporary it only sits there and waits until we approve or reject those values so we can approve accept or reject those values one at a time or I can accept or reject all of them so I want to accept all of them 
the software will go through accept it you can see all of those values have been put in and then just to confirm that that's true I can come up to one of my line numbers look for the properties and see here that those values are applied in there as well so it kind of demonstrates that we can do these pan IDs we don't have to have that information straight away we could do this three months of the project six months into the project uh, and rather than click on each each line individually we can do it on mass uh, using Microsoft Excel so thanks for watching I think tomorrow we might have a look at uh, maybe some of the catalogs and specs uh, and then following through we'll eventually get into the 3d modeling so if you like uh, this video please click the the thumbs up icon if you didn't click the thumbs down feel free to subscribe to the channel and uh, get our daily videos thanks for watching